Right, been a long while. Yeah, uh, got up today, got a review done. Uh, I'm gonna do it in the boot, and it's gonna be on Fox Easy Shelter Plus. Something I've had now since they first made them. Uh, oh, flipping out, we're going back a few years now. I had the Fox Easy Shelter camo, and then I've gone to this now. Uh, I've had it for over 12 months since it come out. <coughs> Sorry about coughing. Anyway, yeah, so I had it for 12 months since it come out. Now, if you're after a biver, you want a nice lightweight compact biver, which stands up to the elements, this is the biver you want to get. You know, you're on a budget like kids and that, don't go getting the big pram up bivvies and all that. Get one of these. They go so easy into your chair. Uh, the way what with the pegs, three three point eight kilo. Uh, you know, three point eight kilo. Flipping out, that's light. Take the front out. Take your pegs out. Just take the pegs you have to take. And they weigh about three point two kilo. They don't come with a ground sheet. I just use any ground sheet. I've got a lightweight one, heavy duty, and I just put any ground sheet in it. You can cut them out or you can buy them. The ground sheets are about £30 now, I think, for them. But yeah, retail is £160. Uh, you can buy them cheaper on the internet. I found them, sorry about this, I found them for, I'm trying to see the name of the place because I forgot it. Uh, it is, that's it, the Tackle Tavern. Tackle Tavern is doing them right now for next day delivery, £144.99p. Plus, new members that go on the Tackle Tavern, I've just seen, gets an extra 5% knocked off the order. So you're gonna save again £7.50. So by rights, you will get it for about 130 seven pounds something like that 137 50 it's around that area but yeah what do i think of it now i've tested them for years i've been in storms i've been on 200 200 acre lakes fishing it i've been in the peak of them storms that we had and yeah they do flatten slightly if you've not got them set up right side into the wind uh, but most people I've seen, use them. They laughed at first. They said, what are you doing in a portable toilet? It's not a portable toilet. It's such an easy, perfect little bivvy to set up. Folds flat into your bed chair, goes nice flat on your barrel like that. So there's no bulk. That'll just go on your bed chair. It's perfect for sitting on a bed chair. So you've not got a bivvy falling off or tipping up or putting it on one side so it's uneven. But yeah. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to get the bivvy set up for you, show you how easy it is to set up, and that's with this on my foot. So, show you how quick and easy it is. Uh, put a bed chair in it, show you the internals, like the internal pockets and things like that. Uh, put the door on, show you the door, and then, yeah, it's a cracking little bivvy. Me, myself, I'd mark it 10 out of 10. You know, I've got Aqua M3s, I've got JRC bivvies, I've got top of the range Titan bivvy. I've had the top bivvies, uh, the Nash S7 bivvy when that was out and stuff like that. But this, especially if you're older and you struggle to get a bivvy up in the winds when there's blowing gales everywhere, these are easy to keep hold of because they're lightweight. So once you've popped it up, you can literally keep hold of it one-handed just while you get a peg in, and then get your next peg in, do etc, etc. I've put it up in some severe weather, uh, and I've never struggled to get it up. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now is film me setting it up, and that's with this on my foot, show you how quick and easy they are to set up, uh, and see whether you like it. I mean, what do you get in the bag? Obviously you get the bag. You get your biver, you get your three poles, because this is easier than the Mark 1. The Mark 2 is a lot easier. The Mark 1 had four poles, it had a porch pole and three poles to put in. So you've only got three poles with this. Then on this, the difference to the Mark 1 and the Mark 2, you get a door with the mozzie panel infill on it. 
Now the Mark 1, you had a mozzie panel door or a green door. <coughs> but the only bugbear I don't like about this one, you don't get for your poles. With the Mark 1, you got a bag, like an island bag uh, to put your poles in. So, you know, poles rattle about a bit, but it doesn't damage them, doesn't damage the bivvy, but it'd be nicer if they did put them back in the bag like they used to have on the Mark 1. So, yep. So on that note, I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna set the bivvy up for you and let's see how long it takes. Uh, and I'll show you the best way to put it down as well. So, yeah, this is a true review. There's, you know, I'm not sponsored by Fox or anything. I'm not sponsored by the Tackle Tavern or anything. It's just, that's the cheapest price I've found on the internet for this bivvy right now. I paid 120 last year. And well, they've gone up 40 pound this year. So if you can save money, you know, if you're gonna get it for 137 pound 50, I think it is, instead of the 160, you're saving 20 pound, aren't you? So, and that's free postage start as well. So yeah. Let's get on to the setting up part. So you get your three poles. You get the longer one and the two short ones. So all we're gonna do, we'll literally just pull the elastic off. As soon as you pull the elastic off, let it pop out. Don't try and force it anyway. So, and all you do, just lie it on the floor like that. You get your retaining strap, yeah, and then you get your bracket in the middle, and we just do that, just clip it to it, and then all we're going to do is literally your side poles, yeah, that's one, they just go into these nice little caps here, got little caps on it, I'll show you in a minute. Do a close up of everything in a minute. And then again, the other edge. I always do the two side ones before doing. Wrong one. Before doing the centre pole. So, yeah, there's your two side ones. In your centre pole, there's a little flap on top. Yeah, your little flap, you literally shove it through, put it in the back piece. Bear in mind, it's windy today, very windy. Thing is about this, because it's dead lightweight and windy, you can just hold it, and then you get your pegs. So, you know, no matter what, you can just lie it down. You can throw it about. It's, it's not gonna break, because they're so bendy and flimsy. They're perfect for setting up. And what you do, you literally peg out the two sides. That's one. Yeah. That's two. You pull it to the length of the restraining strap at the back. You just put a peg in at the back. So you've got two, four pegging points at the back. That's all you do, you just slightly peg them. Don't peg them tight, because sometimes, depending on the levelness of the bankings, I mean, my grass is not perfect, but I'm just showing you how quick and easy they are to set up. And that's it, that's the bivvy up. Tell you what, we'll put it higher. We'll just put it up the bottom then. That's it. Bivy up. That quick. And that's with a broken ankle still. So, oh, there's lots of room inside them. I'm just going to literally now show you. You know, you've got all the pegging points all the way around, but unless it's really windy, you don't have to peg all these extra ones. But when you do, it makes them solid. I mean solid, they'll not move. Trust me. Probably one of the best bivvies on the market. For the price, you can't beat them. So, but what I'll do, just for this illustration purpose, I'm gonna set everything up proper, fully peg it out, 
which I never do on the lake. I just parsley peg it. And it's so easy. And that's it, done. Push your flaps under. I mean, I've just not set it up proper, but yeah, that's it. It's blowing quite a strong wind today. Because if you look, it's literally, trees are blowing like mad. But, the bivvy's not. So the good thing is about this bivvy now, what you're gonna see is inside, we've got two pockets here at the rear. And then we've got a fly door as well, which opens from the inside. You roll it up, toggle tie it, roll it up, toggle tie it when I can get the toggle. And that's it. So there you've got your fly sheet, your internal fly sheet to let some air through. It's just simple really. One of the best bivvies out. You can't beat them. Now, room wise, I can fit oh, two people in here. Me and a girlfriend sat on chairs with all my tackle, everything. Brewing stuff, cooking stuff. There's not much we don't get in it. So I'm just struggling here with my knee and my leg. So yeah, that's why I'm crouched over like this because I can't really bend my knee, you see. Since I broke my ankle and that, my knee's playing up. So yeah, you've got two in ex internal pockets here. You've got two up here. On either side. I'll show you the inside now. So you've got this one, that one, one lower down, one lower down there. Yeah. So that's it. That's literally. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets. And you have a door that goes on. I'm going to put the door on now. Uh, and the door as well has a fly sheet on the external. It can be unzipped either way. You know, you've got double twin zips on them. So, but just for quick illustration purpose now, it's going to zip the door on. I mean, what you should do when you're putting them up is literally put the door on like that first. So that's your door. Yeah, and you've got your mozzie panel and the same again, you unzip it from the inside and then you're laughing, it's, you know, it's a neat little biver. And when it's really windy, you've got these pegging points here, again, to make it even stronger so it doesn't move, so you've got that one. That one. And once I've done these, you'll see how sturdy this is. It don't move. I mean, if you look at that now, it doesn't really move. So, we're laughing here because that is literally, there's no wind you get much stronger than pushing it yourself like that. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now, is literally put a bed chair in and show you the room. I'm just going to zip in this because I don't want to be struggling with my ankle falling over and breaking them again. So I'm going to put a bed chair in it now. So, sorry about seeing my backside. <laughs> Not the best video, for showing my butt. There you go. Bed chair in full now. And there's loads of room. 
loads of room at the back of me here to put your tackle in, loads of room at the front, we'll take you for a little tour, you see you've got all this room here at the back, yeah to put your tackle and when you pull that out tight, I'm not really tightening it up, I see the bed chair, there's no one near it, you've just got loads of room, So yeah, so that's it. Oh, tell you what, I wish the rods were out now and I was just watching the rods not sat here in the garden. But yeah, that is your Easy Shelter Plus or Fox. You know, you can't beat them. Like I said, right now, if you're looking, you're gonna get a bargain, £137.50 from the Tackle Tavern. Uh, keep looking, you will find deals on them. Or even second hand they sell deer. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I've not pegged it out fully. You fully stretch it out, put the full torque and tension on it, because look, I've left the back bag in after and just, it was just a quick, that's all I do for my day sessions. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take this bed chair out and I am going to literally film me taking it down. Show you how quick it is to take it down. Uh, they're so simple. And, but there is a way you fold them when you're taking them down and I will show you the easy way because you don't want to struggle and force it down you want to let it fall down itself and then you fold it over on itself yeah so we'll show you that and then up to yourselves whether you're going to buy one but I'd 110% recommend one you know for day sessions for somebody old somebody disabled or children kids taking a kid with you stuff like that so you can get two chairs in easy i mean look at that i'm not even touching the sides so there's plenty of room so yeah i'm well impressed with them now, i've had them since they first come out and everybody laughed at me and all that but you can get them with such tight swims it's unbelievable you know if there's trees around you if there's anything around you you, you don't struggle with them they're easy to wipe down very easy to dry out that's the bad thing about when you've got a big bivy and you've no room in your house with this you can leave it popped up and just put it in the bathroom in the bath let it all run down it dries out within an hour so that's the one good thing about it bad thing is the only floor is you can't get an over wrap for it but it doesn't condensate drip on you anyway that you know it does get condensation in it but it doesn't drip and yeah I've done loads of nights in it. I've done weekends in them. So, you know, you, you can if you can see where my feet are, you've got loads of room here for cooking. Uh, and then all you literally want to do, is if you want to cook and it's peeing it down outside, you just lift this part of your bed chair up and you can cook at the bottom of your feet. It's, it's just never ending. So yeah, I'm well impressed with it. There's no weight to it. It goes in your car easy. It goes in your bed chair easy. I'll show you when I pack up in a minute, wrap it all up, and I'll show you it in the bed chair. So you don't have to carry nothing extra like another bivvy because you're carrying your bivvy in your bed chair or your chair. So yeah, I will now pause this. So I'm gonna put my thumbs up again because that's time when I just pause. And then I know when I'm editing where I can edit from and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna pause it. Right, video takedown. This is how quick it takes. So you're going to be watching on the film itself because this is going to be true speed. So there we go. Let's do it unpegged. Unpegged. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Poles out. Now you're going to be watching this and all we're going to do is just literally lie it down on the floor and it naturally collapses yeah then you're going to undo your retaining strap yeah so it's fully collapsed now so all we do then you get this end fold it over on itself so easy and that's it that should be the down yeah and what we do 
you look to grab both ends on the edges here, push them in, and you see it naturally folds again, and then you just push it over. Yeah, so we'll show you again. Grab it in the middles, yeah, middle, push in. As you see, it's folding over already. And you push it down, trap it between your legs. That's your bivvy put away. I mean, how easy is that? Look at that. You know, I've got a foot brace on. Still fracture on the right ankle. Bad pelvis and spine. But yeah, that is so easy to work with. That's what I'm saying about a big bulky bevy. And the good thing is, it's so easy to put away. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm not gonna bore you with the putting it away. I'm just gonna pause this again, put it all in the bag, and then I'm gonna show you it just fits in the bed chair. So anyway, thanks for joining this bit and watching all this. I hope I've not bored you too much on this little review. And I hope I've opened your eyes. So instead of having a big, bulky, massive bivvy, for day sessions and take it misses all the kids invest in one of these trust me you will not be disappointed well waterproof seems on my mark one have never ever gone and it's like four or five years old and i've used it week after week after week after week through winter through summer through spring everything and there's not one seam still gone on it poles have never cracked nothing so as long as you keep them clean and dry them out you will have no problem with them so yeah, I'm going to put it away, and then I'll come back to you, show it in the bed chair. Right, I'm just going to show you now, part where it's now packed down, it's in the bag. One bit of advice I'll give you, do not put your pegs in with this. It comes with the pegs in it, but do not transport them in it, because all you need is one peg to slip, because they've not got the tip protectors on then. You know, rip your bivvy. Always keep your pegs separate. You know, you get some people think, oh yeah, I'll put pegs in and all that. Then wonder why they've got a big rip or a big hole in the bivvy. Because the pegs only have to come out of the bag. And then this is ripped. Or you put something wrong on it and it's ripped. And it's like 140 quid, 137, 50, 160 pounds, depending what price you get it for, gone. So that is one definite. Do not put your pegs in here. Keep them in your rod hold all keep them in your bag, wherever, or anywhere apart from next to the bivvy. So all I'm gonna do now, right, it's wrapped down. That's all you're gonna do. Looks the same as a chair. It's how easy it is to store into a bed chair. There you go, stored, done. Look how simple that was. That now, you're carrying your bed chair with your bivvy in it. So how compact is that? You know, it's so compact, lightweight. This, all right, it's three kilos, 3.2 kilos or whatever on a chair, but it doesn't make much difference because once that bed chair is on a barra, yeah? Or even if you're carrying it, if you're younger, etc. You're not like me, an old fart, and like struggle to carry everything. But if you see my setup, how lightweight and how compact it is, this is all I'm bo I've bothered about. Is having a bivvy, it's compact. It's, you're not carrying separate, you're not carrying a brolly in a big old old. Because when you've got scopes, you can't put a brolly in it unless you're buying a scope brolly and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's it. And that is the end of this little review. Well, it's probably not little, it's probably took me about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, all in all. But anyway, thanks for joining me again on Cart Rigs and Tips and thank you to all my new subscribers and comments and that uh, i've had a comment somebody's asked me to do a video but i can only do that when i get to the banking on how to catch retain unhook treat and safely return the carp so i will be doing that uh, i think it's for a lot of the foreign subscribers so thank you all over the world Cheers, because I've got followers from Africa, America, everywhere. So yeah, brilliant. The channel's getting up and going, and we are now, I think it's 92 subscribers on YouTube. I know I've been out for a bit and that, but next video will probably be the baiting pole, homemade baiting pole. You do not want to miss that.
because it will save you a fortune. If you're on a low budget, you want a baiting pole, you have to watch that video. So yeah, thanks for watching me. Hope I haven't bored you too much on this little review. But they're honest reviews. I only do reviews on stuff that I've tested. Up to now, all the stuff that I'm using and that and I've tested, I've not really had any faults on. They've not let me down in no way. The quality's been good, you know. Apart from the pod, when I got the pod and I did the review on the pod, the first one was smashed up in the shop and that was bad quality in the shop through damage. But yeah, that is the little review on the Fox Easy Shelter Plus. Hope you'll join me again on cart rigs and tips. I'm hopefully going to be getting the baiting pole put on next week. Uh, show you how to make that, what components you need, where to get it from, the price of everything. And you're laughing. You know, you're making a baiting pole, a 40 metre to a 50 metre baiting pole for roughly 80 to 90 pound. You know, yeah, we'd all like a Nash one on that, but a lot of you haven't got the money to buy a Nash one. You're kids, you're young, you're on a budget, you've got a family, you only want one person working in the family. So, yeah, this is what we have to look at. We have to literally try and budget sometimes. And now you're budgeting on a biver, £137.50 for a biver that you can do weekends and that in. It'll last you two, three years. Look after it, it'll last you even longer. Uh, yeah. So why go and pay two to six hundred if you've not got the money right now and you just want a biver just for doing overnights or a quick weekend and you're not fishing through winter a lot, you know? Get the Fox Easy Shelter Plus and you won't go wrong. Right, thanks for watching. Join me again on Cart Rigs and Tips on the next video. And until then, tight lines. Hope you jammy buggers are out there on the banking, catching plenty, because I'm not. There's gonna be quite a few weeks, I think three weeks, before I get back on the banking with my feet. And I will see you then, over and out. <laughs>